Mickey's favorite food is Milanesa and salad. That's her favorite meal. If she was on death row and I asked her, what's your last meal? She would ask for a Milanesa and salad. But she didn't know that her favorite meal is perfected in Vienna. So we're flying all the way to Vienna to this place called Figelmuller. And we're gonna try the best, the highest rated schnitzel in the game. The highest rated out of all restaurants. This place, this Fiegelmuller, is the highest rated, but it doesn't have the Michelin star or it doesn't have the Michelin star price. It's just the highest rated, so it's like the best food there. So we're gonna go try some goulash and some Vienna schnitzel. Some Wiener schnitzel, I think, but we're gonna go try it. Off to Vienna. The most famous schnitzel around in the world. That's where we're going. It's really advertised at the airport. Fiegel Moolah. Fiegel Moolah. Let's go. Let's go get some schnitzel. Vina schnitzel. You ready? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Your favorite meal we're going to get. Milanesas. Mmm. Mm. And they stole it from Milan, eh? Milan, that's why. Schnitzel is stolen from Milan. It's not really a Viennese. Uh, dinner here. Here we are. Who's waiting for us? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's waiting for us. We're gonna go catch the train, I think, huh? So we have to follow the over there. Pulling up to the Figo Muller now. And this place is booked so far, so far in advance. We only got the 11 a.m. spot, which is insane, right? But here it is, the Figo Muller. Let's go. Let's go have a good meal. The best schnitzel in town, they say, the best schnitzel. He saw my lip. The time, huh? Beijing, New Delhi, Vienna, Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> pretty funny, Rio pretty Canada. funny. But yes, we're here at 11. And I think it's closed. I think it's ready. So the prices are right here. It's pretty, pretty. The house specials here. We're gonna get some goulash probably. Some veal goulash, it's 19 euros and some schnitzel which is about um, I think 27 the Wiener schnitzel we're inside the famous Fugelmula <laughs> thank you we're going to get set ready first and yeah. then we can talk yes okay perfect. perfect so everybody is comfortable thank you thank you thank you so we are here at the Fugelmula this is the menu you can get the wines, 37 euros or 6 euros a class, glass, class wise, a veen specials. And uh, I think we might get them um, parsley potatoes, 5 euros, some Figelmuller schnitzel, the original, 20, and some veal, I can't really find it, veal goulash, but I can't find it. Hmm, veal goulash. But I'm just going to ask for the veal goulash because I know it exists. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's really beautiful. I'm really excited. Really excited. <laughs> I asked for a mug of beer and I was disappointed. They don't sell beer here. They only sell wine. So I'm getting a glass of the finest red wine they got in the figo molar. But she's getting uh, water because it's 11, <laughs> it's 11 a.m. It's a little bit too early for a drink, but you know, went on vacation. Perfect. Thank you. There it is. Agua for Bravo. Yeah, yeah. mm. Oh, thank oh, you. It much. smells very fruity thank and you. nutty. Hmm. You can taste the barrels. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this is our first glass of wine here in Austria. First one, he said. First one. <laughs> you want Oh my god, I... Okay. Did 
Do you think Daniel and Lucy would pass this? They know better. Mmm, tastes good. Tastes good. The best part about this best highest rated restaurant in all of Europe is that it's not fancy. It's like nice. I don't know how to explain it. It's like comfortable without feeling like you're I don't know, not belonging. <laughs> and like it's super like when we went to Italy, we went to this restaurant Enzo and it was so fancy they didn't even want us there because we had a baby. So this is like more traditional but it has supposedly the best highest rated food in all of Europe. This is number one rated restaurant in all of Europe. Maybe the world, I'm not sure. <gasps> wow. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Look how big this sucker is. Look at it. To our head. <laughs> but he got it reversed. I'm the goulash man, eh? So, let's do this. Let's take a little selfie. Maybe you want to cook something for uh, put it in the rinse? Yeah, you want to take a selfie? You want to take a... I guess you can't hold it, eh? Mickey's taking a first cut. I'm going to put some for Nancy. And these are the parsley potatoes. I'm going to try to take a... Mm. Let's try to see these parsley potatoes. They kind of look like a hash brown. Mm. Okay. Okay, I think they need a little salt, a little pepper. But besides that, it's good. Yeah, with these guys' goulash, they all use these little, uh, I don't know, these, these noodles, huh? I don't know what they're called. But we also have it like that in Argentina, the goulash. Mm. Famous veal goulash. The Hungarian one, I mean, um, the one in Bratislava was amazing. This one, okay. it's okay. Mm. But I have to try it out, huh? So. Yeah, you have to try it. Mm. Give me a little bite of that, of that schnitzel. It's not bad, eh? Pretty good. Pretty dang good. We need some salt and pepper on these babies. I can believe like what? Let's put some. Your Milanesa in a fancy place. Man, that's crazy, yeah. Huh? Like, like, you you have this like a like a, in this uh, a family meal. These restaurants that they are in the on the road. I want China. I want China. Me. Yeah, try some of that meat with the here with the spoon. Yeah, watch this with everything together. Watch out and see. Here. What's your reaction? Tell the camera. Super tender, but it's different than the one that we had yesterday. Yeah, I prefer. Honestly, I prefer different. the other one. It's amazing. Yeah, the grandmother's place, the goulash was incredible. Incredible. Mm. But they're both very different goulashes. This one's like a like a tomato soup kind of, I'd say, like tomato soup. It reminds me of the sauce that I have in the stroganoff. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah, and the other the other one was more hearty. It was like it was like beefy and brown in the Hungarian way. I think this one's a little bit different. Mm. But we're gonna kill this. We're gonna tell you what the bill is after, and what our overall impression is after we. Because at the beginning we're just excited, but at the end, the real truth comes out. So stay tuned. <laughs> Mama's gonna pay because drizzle, drizzle. You know that's it. Because it's a thing that um, you guys are doing. They go on dates with girls and make the girl pay. And it's like a new. A new swag, some mama's paying today. Drizzle, drizzle. They always pay, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. Look at that sweet swimsuit. Jeez! 
as we get off at the stop Friedensbrücke Friedensbrücke actually I'm gonna conclude the video hold on as we get off at the stop of Friedensbrücke <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right but I'm gonna conclude the video our overall reaction that mother's that grandmother's place in Bratislava I would say was better overall the veal this veal I mean um this goulash wasn't my type of goulash the one from grandmother's place Bratislava was banging that was the best one and the price this came to 57 euros so about 70 euros with a tip so 67 euros um, together and I don't know it was good it was good overall it was good we had a a Figelmuller Wiener Schnitzel and we had a Figelmuller Veal Goulash with uh, potatoes, parsley potatoes, a glass of wine and a water. So all of that for 67 euros plus a great service from the man in the suit. And I don't know. Remember, click like, subscribe and share. Sure. <laughs>